Hey, how would you describe the white laces on these? They're kind of dirty. Dirty. Dirty, but in a nice, clean way. I would say they are kind of dirty. That's like the vibe of these sneakers, man. I'm not gonna lie. I said I these are a drop for me. That's why <laughs> Tan had them on, and I came over. He, he he took them off real quick before he got called out. I, I gotta set the record straight. When you see them in person and you compare them to the original fives. They're a lot less chunkier. They're more sleek. Mm, right look at from this little... from this angle right here, you can see how sleek they are. There's usually that ugly, yeah. big, bulky part. Would right you here. say uh, cut off the uh, circle? I cut off the circles. The on. That's, That's when you let the little gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> you see the video I just sent you? There was a video of the gerbil going in and out the uh, the holes, which is hilarious. Pretty but yeah, white. I didn't say these were a drop two on the hype talk. I want to get that clear before everybody tries to call me out. I want to let you guys know I said these were. A maybe, okay? A maybe. I like the lining right. Okay, I'm a maybe. I'm, a I'm gonna have to use my flip flop card on these. Whoa! I'm really excited for the off white ones. It's a little early for that in the year. You gonna use it? Yeah, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it, man. I'm gonna get these and the off white ones, the one that Virgil had when he was showing off his oh, nail polish. Yeah, yeah, the oh, with the red. But I yeah. I even like the little toggles, even vintage. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're taking a look at the fives again. I was just showing you guys B-roll with the uh, denim stacked behind the tongue, but actually over the tongue. Way better. Looks actually pretty clean, you know, messy it up a little right here, you know. We got Gabe right here, man. It is the official time for him to get fitted out in the RLC denim. You got to take off the minimal denim immediately. All right, all right. All right. Wait, wait, wait till you get the denim first. You don't you don't want to come out in your undies. <laughs> he was gonna he was gonna come out in the undies and then get the denim. <laughs> so a little bit earlier I was showing you guys the Jordan 5s. Those were actually routes that we were taking a look at. And mine came in a little bit earlier than I was expecting. They came in this morning. And I haven't had time to put in the white laces in them yet, but I'm gonna do so right now. I might have to do the uh half and half. We'll see. I'm still kind of deciding at what level I like them at. All right, so right now we are uh, eating breakfast. Just got to the uh, office. We got Gabe, we got Ralph. Can I see the hat, the Kobe hat, huh? All of a sudden a Kobe <laughs> fan, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one thing. They do some good merch. Let me see, let me see. Who made it? Oh, New Era. So New Era made, the, if you go to New Era, I don't know, if you go to, it's, it's, it's kind of weird because it's, it's not passed on yet. It's, 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 it's really <laughs> Hey, we're keeping that in the vlog. Did you guys see me when I was like, can I see it? And he didn't want to hand it to me. The patches aren't, the patches officially, sewn on yet, aren't okay? officially sewn I on right, yet. A lot of people have asked me about where to get the patches. You go to LakersStore.com. So this is just a LA hat, but you sewed on, you got the patches. Mm -hmm. Okay, my guy really did tape it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I had to you know, make sure the placement was He's on. Testing the placement. <laughs> He's testing the Alright guys, so right now we are going to break down everything there's to know about SB Dunks. We are rocking them right now. We are in Lucky Dog. So the first thing I kind of want to go over is how to properly style the SBs, man. Times have changed. I was going to say, this is a huge point because back in the day, skinny. Everybody was all was about the skinny jeans. Skinny, too skinny. Too skinny. Too skinny. And the one thing about the whole skinny thing, you would uh, put the uh, tongue in front of the jeans. You had to. You, you had, had to. no choice. <laughs> Rocking SBs with skinnies kind of like drew too much attention, I would oh, say. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, so we got to go over how to properly style them now though, you know what I mean? So uh, how would you say the best way is? Look. Man, I hate to say it. I hate to use the T word. When I say the T word, I Hold mean on, I Tra know. Travis Scott, man. Oh. I hate to bring him up as a reference, but as you can see, when he wears SBs, baggy. Mm. It has to be baggy, man. Like, slim fit, baggy just can't be skinny no more. I feel like right now the baggy look is dope because it's more proportionate to the sneaker. The sneaker can look very bulky, you know, mm -hmm. especially with the fat tongue and everything. So if you do rock baggier pants. Nice balance. It, it's a nice balance. You know, like you can see right here, I'm draping the cargos over the tongue a little bit. This is how I used to tie my SBs and then I would put the uh, pants behind. And you'll see what I mean about it just a little bit too much tongue. That's what she said. <laughs> 
So this is how I used to do it. You wouldn't even lace it to the top. I would do right here. And this is how a lot of people used to style the. And so you can see it's like, you see the fat SB mm -hmm. tongue and everything. Then Okay, so you're saying what you used to do is obviously not tied all the way to the top, show off that fat tongue. But now, yeah, since yeah. you're wearing bag of your pants, you want to be able to let it flow. A little bit flower, yeah. Kind of make the shoe itself a little bit more sleek. Yeah, so uh, I'll lace it up a little bit higher. If I'm not going to tie them, then I'm going to lace them up all the way to the top, like so. And it kind of just elongates the sneaker a little bit. You know what I'm saying? This like makes the sneaker For look sure. shorter. For sure. This makes it look longer. For so sure. yeah, I would say right now, if you are going to rock the SB Dunks, I would uh, recommend rocking them with the baggy yeah, pants. Would man. you say so? Just, That's just, the new? Just stay away from the skinnies unless you were a dancer, you win dance competition or something, then that's okay. With but the SB Dunks. Right now, the new wave is just a little bit more baggy, a little more slim. All right, so right now I'm taking a look at the uh, purple pigeons right here. I was telling you guys in a video before, I used to buy the patch and then glue it on right here from Crazy. eBay. What are your thoughts on getting older SBs right now? Or would you say just wait for the newer hype sneakers like these right here? I know those aren't SBs, mm -hmm. the ones you're rocking, mm -hmm. but I'm saying, you know, waiting for like the safaris and the, you know, the new releases. For sure, for sure. Look, look, look. Obviously, you gotta check on the condition because sometimes you're gonna get that separation because mm -hmm. the glue is what, 10 years old? Yeah. So uh, you definitely don't want to skateboard in them. So. I would say stay away from the older ones. Man. Yeah, I would say the ones like, you know, like Travis Scott is wearing and everything, yeah. those must have been like preserved in like the nicest for room sure, and like, sure. cause I have a pair of Tiffany's right now and the separation between the sole and the upper is crazy. I can see it right now. I'm, I'm like, I'm starting to see my socks. Too much of a risk. I would say they did their thing with these uh, Safari ones that uh, these come out next month. I mean, surprisingly, they didn't butcher the blocking. I always talk about the blocking. It reminds me of the Air Max 1. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel the Air Max 1 blocking, so they could have easily just put the Safari print like on the swoosh mm -hmm. or here, and it's probably would have ruined it. But I think they did it right, man. All right, so one thing I gotta ask you, Tin, uh, SB versus non-SB dunks. Yay or nay on the non-SBs? I feel like non-SBs, man. Big wave coming. Big, Big wave? Come on, man. I don't know what size these are. <laughs> <laughs> but my opinion, when it comes to just dunk lows in general, non-SB, no brainer. What? Uh, Honestly, I kind of put in the same category. Way listen, too similar. Listen. I, <laughs> I'm about the fat. I was gonna say. I like the uh, Zoom Air. You know, there's a reason I didn't get the off-white dunks. If the non-SB dunk yeah. is hyped, they're worth getting, like these. But you know, when it comes to the plums, say if those were SBs, yeah. that SB part would have made them worth getting. Mm, the, the, original, original the resale ones, price would have went crazy. I was gonna say, the original ones are SBs, the highs. Mm. And you're saying they kind of ruined it by it being Taking a regular off dunk. The SBs. So, oh, okay. so if they're like, say these, all right, the Jordan packs, yeah. they're not SBs and they're not hyped, so they're not worth mm. getting. These are non-SBs, but they're hyped. Okay. So they're worth getting. So it needs some hype too. Like okay. these right here, the safaris. Mm -hmm. If these were not SBs, so I can't looking, say I'm looking forward to the Travis Scott then. Oh. Hi, <laughs> with the SBs? With Travis Scott? I know a lot of people are kind of iffy on the SB versus non-SB, but sure. that's just my take on it. So earlier, Tan was talking about, you know, gravitating towards the newer releases, yeah. and Nike is kind of like taking older releases and redoing them a little bit. So this is what we're talking about when we're saying they're redoing them. So we have the Safari SBs. Yep. They took this color from an Air Max One, mm -hmm. and so we got the Tiffany's that came out recently, so. Also, these Tiffany's that the highs. originally came out low, yeah. but identical colorway, they made it to a high, yep. and this is obviously the next version of it. Yeah, so I would say these type of releases are worth getting. Yeah. If you want the OGs, you're paying at least nine to $1,000 right sure. now. 900 and to 1,000. To get a even a good, perfect condition pair yes. is super rare. Super so. rare, so I would say gravitate towards more of the newer releases. One, you're gonna get that better quality. Two, you're gonna not have to worry about, you know, sole separation mm -hmm. and, sure. you know, the leather cracking and everything. And then three, you're not gonna have to pay for the crazy OG prices. Let's wrap it up, man, about uh, copying old SBs. I say just leave it in the past, okay? Too risky, you know, treat it like art, man. You know, got a nice little story to them. They look nice. Just keep it at that. I would say it's just way too risky to copy old ones. All right, guys, so we just ran into the homie uh, Martin right here. Met him for the first time, and the outfit is looking crazy. Uh, what year are those? Uh, 85. What? 85 Chicago ones. Yeah. Yo, those are crispy. How much did you pay? 750. 750? That's not bad. Yeah, buy them off your 750. <laughs> <laughs> what size were they? What size were they? Oh, 10. Hey, the wee Tay might weasel him some, some uh, Chicago's. Let me try, try, huh? try Wow. I'm not gonna lie, I never put on a pair of OG one. The shape is like super on point. Uh, All right, so Tan is trying on Martin's. Oh, man. 
I was gonna say a little, a little, a little hot too. A little, a little hot. <laughs> Mario, you know he he walked here. He walked oh, here. You know, man. a little tired. I can see why people really want a pair of OG ones. They're sway so sleeker. These are crazy. Man, the leather is nothing compared to. What let me, let me, let me, let me feel, feel that, man. That's man, leather. You see the bottom? These are fire. When you have your mindset of something that you order, you expect that's what's gonna come, you know? We order spicy Popeye's chicken sandwiches and they didn't, it's regular. Ah. And Richie was kind enough to order me a red velvet cheesecake and apple caramel apple pie. Forgot that thing too, man. Ah. Y'all know me, man. I'm good at complaining. Popeye's, man. Call them. Call Popeye's right now. I'm gonna give you a certificate again. Hi, so I heard there was an issue with your triple chocolate meltdown. I can definitely take down your information and get you an electronic gift certificate for the inconvenience. You know what? That'd be great. All right, guys. So recently, Staple Pigeon hit me up. Um, they sent over this huge box right here. You know, hopefully include some SB dunks. I don't know. Let's see. All right. This is a huge box. Let's open this thing up. Lost my uh, box cutter recently. Holy, I see a box, guys. I see a box. I'm not sure what it is yet. Let's do some more investigating. Ooh, are right, they sitting over a ton of clothes. The uh, classic pigeon. Shout out to Jeff Staple, man. The pigeon, I read a little bit about it. They were saying they love the pigeon because it kind of represents, you know, like Chinatown, New York, and they wanted to flip it. They wanted to flip the, uh, you know, the negative connotation with pigeon to make it something dope and basically like take ownership. If you look at a pigeon the way it survives, it's not supposed to survive in a city, but it succeeds in a city, you know? It, it just manages a way to win. So we got the iconic pigeon right here on a really clean hoodie. Nice embroidery, it's not screen printed. All right, so we got a nice little windbreaker. Quality is on point. Whew. Okay, every time I see this pigeon right here, this like brings me back, I don't, I don't know if you're watching this, Jeff, but you know, the purple pigeons, they didn't have the patch on them. I used to be the dude that would buy the patches on eBay and then uh, stitch them on onto the, all the SB dunks that I wanted to just because of this logo right here. So this is really nostalgic for me. All right, what else we got? What else we got? Nice beanie right here. They sent over a ton of stuff. They got a yeah, bare brick pin. That's pretty, oh, from Pintrill. I have not looked at Pintrill in a while. This was like the go-to pin company a few years ago. I didn't even know they were still making stuff, but their quality is super on point with their pins. Whoa, this is crazy. Staple James Jean. What is this right here? Okay, if you guys see this image, it is a pigeon about to do a windmill. What? I'm not really sure. I'm sorry. I didn't really, you know, research this or anything. It looks like a pigeon, but also has a... Okay. Has a bunch of arrows going in the pigeon like it the pigeon went down. So I totally got it wrong. The pigeon is not about to do windmills. I think they were saying the pigeon got hit. I don't know. I have to look into that. What is this? I have no what the Hey Gabe, you know what it is? What what, what would you guess? Some shoes? <laughs> not some shoes. What? <laughs> this thing is so heavy. The pigeon has landed and not only that it comes with these golden of uh, arrows to put into the pigeon yo i am putting this in my house i gotta take a look at the meaning behind this pigeon right here with the arrows and everything but overall aesthetically this thing is crazy you know sometimes with like streetwear figurines and whatnot they look a little bit like too kitty i would say this like actually looks like you know some real decor or something all right so we're gonna carefully put this over here that was fire all right so there's one more box in the big box oh a wooden box. I'm excited, man. Oh. Is it what I think it is? They actually sent. <laughs> Let me unveil for the camera. They actually sent over some SB dunks right here. Woo -hoo! Shout out to Staple Pigeon for sending these over. These are crazy. The details on these are insane. We got to do another video on these, man. It says sample not for resale. Wow. I don't even know what I have in my hand right now. This is insane. I was not expecting it. I was just expecting, a, you know, a couple hoodies here and there from the statue to the sneakers to the clothing. This is insane. You guys got to check out Staple Pigeon, man. We'll leave the link down below for you guys. Really dope clothing. The quality is on point. Huge thank you one more time to Staple Pigeon for sending 
screen over this insane package. I had no idea it was going to be like this, but thank you. Shout out to Jeff Staple, pioneer in the sneaker game. He has a podcast as well that's really dope. He'll do the interview in the podcast, but then he'll break down like midway his perspective and what he's thinking, and then he'll continue the interview. So that's really cool, but whew. All right, shout out to Staple Pigeon. Thank you once again. All right, guys, so right now we're in a uh, thrift shop, kind of like a, I would say, higher end thrift shop. Mm -hmm. Called um, good old Buffalo Exchange. Buffalo Exchange. Hopefully we can find some. Hold on. I think I had these in affordable uh, sneakers video before. Okay, okay. Nothing much, not much. It's all right. Oh, a Helly Hansen jacket's pretty fire. Let's see what they're asking for the help. $33 for the Helly Hansen? It's kind of expensive. Hold on. Shoot, on. Maybe we can put this in the production line for recently collection. We'll put it on just just because. Ancient Chinese secrets. The fit is actually good. That is low key kind of fire. How much is that? <laughs> How much is that? $24. $24. Put it on a nice high top. All right. I didn't find anything at Buffalo Exchange. All right guys, so we are wrapping up the vlog right now, but before we do so, we gotta give you guys a huge thank you for all the orders over the weekend. Mm -hmm. We are getting all the orders out right now. And Man, I know it's been a long time coming, but I told Richie that once we release this collection, we're not stopping. Not stopping. More heat coming. You should see the cargos coming out very soon. We got sneakers. Trust me. No, 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 no. I responded to someone's question about, yes, we are coming out with sneakers. Uh -huh. He screenshotted it and then put it in the uh, Locust group. So, I mean, they're excited for some sneakers. Sure. But yeah, yeah. Uh, but just overall, again, huge thank you guys for the support over the weekend. Yes, sir. Uh, we're getting all the orders out. But um, yeah, man, crazy. Thank you. thank you, guys. Appreciate it, man. All right. See Peace. you guys soon.